Oh boys, we got the job done from yesterday. This is complete. And if you guys remember, we took the Mac and pulled both of these old vehicles out of the lake because the tornado came through and literally just pushed them. And I say lake, maybe like just large, large pond over here. Just average size pond. Anyways, it was in there. And I told the guy, you know, if you need help clearing these trees up, we could help you with that too. But he was like, yeah, I got a buddy. Buddy's going to help me. So tornado came through. I felt bad for him. I was like, dude, we could probably clear these trees for free. But he was like, he has a buddy that's going to come help him. So it's all good. But today for heavy rescue, we don't have another job, but we've been doing a ton of jobs and we've been making a ton of money, not $98 million like you see up in the right hand corner, but we've been making a uh, man that freaks me out every time I hear that train bell and I'm like, man, we're going to get smashed by a train. But I don't know. For some reason, it's always on. Anyways, we've been making a lot of money. And also at the same time, like another heavy rescue pack got released by Wood, I think it's Wood Meadow Farms is the modding group. I think that's how you say it. W Wood Meadow Farms. Yeah, Wood Meadow Farms. And so there's a lot of different trucks. And so today's pretty much gonna be expanding the fleet once we get back. Now, if you guys remember, we still need another building because we had some rough times we weren't getting much business and we couldn't afford some of our bills and our building got taken away from us so i gotta put another building up yet which isn't gonna happen today we're not gonna buy another building today we're gonna work on expanding the fleet today which is just gonna be awesome through here and so if you guys remember i purchased this from the dude he didn't want anything with this chevy truck or the ford truck after they got put in the lake he was like i'm done i'm done you want to take them dude and I was like, yeah, I'll buy them from you. So we have these, which I need to sell yet. I have a buddy that owns RCC Roll Call Customs. Um, in case you guys like have no idea what I'm talking about, that's my other series going on, just so you know, just a little inside. So anyways, um, but we're just taking these back. Hopefully I'm going the right way. This is a big map and that's why I like this map. So we gotta take them back. Our shop is over by field 43. It's not where shop is, but it's over by field 43 is where I built the shop. So we got a long ways to go, but Man, this series, like, Heavy Rescue is so fun because I, if I just try to think creative, I can, like, try to make up so many, like, crazy scenarios. And I've got a lot coming up, too. Crazy scenarios. So that's why I like it. You can think creative, I guess. It, it allows you to think creative. So, um, but we got to stop by and I'm going to see if we can't pick up a couple new trucks, which is just going to be fantastic. And there's some, trust me, the Mac is nothing compared to these trucks. The Mac's like a little puppy dog compared to some of these trucks that we're gonna be taking a look at. So I'm gonna take a left hand turn, win one. And then also, if you guys are looking for a gaming PC, I, I, I mentioned this every video, feel free to check out Apex Gaming PCs. We've got the Squad, the Squad Plus, and eventually the Squad Ultra. The link is down below, and you can use the Squad as your discount code. If you type in code Squad, it's 10% off. So here we are, that's where our building once was, and it's completely gone. The only building I have right now is that in there. So we need, dude, you know what? I totally forgot, but I, 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 I kind of forgot that we had, uh, not the beast, what's it called? The T-Rex? I'm pretty sure it's called the T-Rex, or the T-Rex, the T-Rex chipper. This would be perfect for actually tornado cleanup back over there. I, man, I almost, I told him I'd, I'd help him clean up for free just because like he gave us a good deal on these trucks, but oh man, maybe we should pay him to come clean up because I, I feel bad that like we're not helping him clean up because we have all the equipment to help him clean up those trees and stuff. Okay, so for now, we have the Chevy. Chevy runs good and everything, but I had bought this big tax trailer and I may be needing this big tax trailer eventually. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get, I, somehow I need to get this Ford off the trailer. So I got an idea. I'm gonna back up the Mac to the trailer and then just connect the winch to the back of this and then yank off this Ford. Now you guys are probably like, dude, squad, toss her in neutral and just give her a little push and then hop in the truck and she'll roll right off. But in farm sim, it's not like that, unfortunately. I wish I could do that, but I can't. So we're gonna fire up the old Mac. This has been the money maker for us. And I hate to like cheat on it and get like a new truck, but we're still gonna use the Mac and it's still gonna, she's still gonna be used. But I do wanna buy a couple new trucks because a new pack came out. I was like, dang, this is gonna be perfect for the series. It came out like the perfect time too. Okay, that should be good. Now, actually, you know what? We could scooch forward a little bit right there. Perfect. I even turned the lights on. Okay, so now I just run over here and then connect the winch and boom, ready to rock and roll. Okay, so now all I'm gonna do is slowly winch this. Make sure the winch is on and then hit Z. <laughs> oh gosh, what? It's like pulling it sideways right now. Okay, hold on, I need to, oh, I guess the truck is kind of sideways on there. 
Let me kind of turn the wheel. Oh, don't drag it off. Why is it pulling it sideways? Okay, there we go. So it's pulling it down, but the truck's about to actually fall off the side. This isn't good. Okay. We're pretty much there. Okay, yep, it's going down. So what I want to do now is scooch forward. So I hit uh, left shift. I think it's X. Yeah, I got these down. Uh, and then I'm going to scooch forward, and I'm just going to drag the truck kind of towards the back. We're not going to get it face perfectly, uh, but for now I'm just going to drag it to the back. Left shift Z. And it's a fast winch. It'll just winch this baby like crazy fast. And then maybe what I'll do to kind of get it situated perfect is take like uh, our backhoe and just kind of lift the front end up and just slide this around so it's actually face, face good, you know. Dude, I swear, we have the weirdest trucks. Like this Velociraptor is completely wrecked, if you guys remember that video. And then we have this 51 Ford. That, or I think it's a, is it 51 or 48? I think it's a 50, 51 F100. And then we have this Velociraptor that I wrecked. Like, completely different trucks. This is a $100,000 truck. This is like an old year, 19, 1951 truck that's wrecked. Both of them are sitting in our lot. This is like, if you guys know Post Malone, this is, I'm pretty sure this is Post Malone's truck. Which is pretty sweet, dude. Okay, so I'm going to just drop it right there for now. And then I got to back out of here with the Mac. And then we're going to go take a look at a couple new trucks. Okay, here we go. Hop in the cat. And I decided what I'm going to do, I kind of mentioned this, but I'm going to just see if I can't square up that that Ford. I just want it like angled nice. I don't know, something about it just angled in the corner like that. Can't have that. So I'm going to see if I can't just push this. Here we go. We'll see if the cat can lift it. Now the loader controls are completely opposite compared to like any other loader I've ran. So this is why I might be horrible with the loader right now. There we go. Okay. I'm just going to push it back here. Keep pushing it. Dude, this is like camouflage blended in. Like this, bl the rust bl blends in with the ground so much. I apologize about that. I meant to go down there. <laughs> nice. Okay. That's squared up. That backhoe, this works good, dude. And this lifts a lot too, it seems like. Okay, so I'm going to put this away. And we're going to go take a look at some truck. Okay, now, I, dude, I can't keep a secret to save my life. But, <laughs> so pretty much, dude. Okay, so we may have a crazy realistic farming series for FS19 coming like i wasn't gonna do a farming series until i can entertain people like like a lot differently and a lot better for farming because i feel like just regular single player just it doesn't cut it it's not it's not enough and it's not it's not that entertaining and stuff and putting out 20 20 single player farm vids isn't that entertaining but we may have something and it'll be kind of multiplayer coming that is gonna be crazy i got i got basically pitched the idea to join this thing and this uh it could be insane it could be insane so for you, so you farming folks there's a chance there's a chance we're gonna bring farming back there's there's a fairly good there's a really good chance so well here we are today i want to bring a couple wreckers home i want to get at least two this is gonna be uh this is gonna be interesting i told him to just like have everything you have have everything you got lined up for me so here we go. Now, I told them, now colors we can change. We can always change with colors as we go through this. But this is going to be interesting. I got to figure out what I want and what I need. Now, dude, okay. First of all, I see one that's customized like crazy. And I'm like, I'm buying that thing. I am buying that thing. But who knows? We'll figure that out. So here, we have a freight. Is this Freightliner? Freightliner. Freightliner. It's just ramp truck. Not ramp truck. I mean, kind of ramp truck. Uh, what's the correct term for this? Here, I wonder if it's in here. Roll back, roll back. That's what I was looking for. Can you actually, oh, that'd be really cool if you could actually run the joysticks, like hit the joysticks and move them up and down. That'd be pretty neat. But here's the roll back, Freightliner roll back. I think this would be something we should get because there's a lot of different stuff we could do. We could haul a lot with this. And dude, the first thing I could do, I mean, I, first of all, I could do a lot of unrealistic stuff, but I could see myself holding something just crazy heavy and stupid on there, like a tank or a tractor or something like that, like heavy tractor. Um, okay, F550. Now, all of these have Mayberry Heavy Rescue. If I were to buy these, I kind of want to contact like a modder or somebody to like maybe edit. And I got to figure out what my business is called, but put like a really cool logo on there. Like say my business is TSI or something. Wow, I just made that up. The Squad Intelligence. Okay, something like that. I'm not intelligent, I know, but... Uh, TSI. I could put like TSI across here. That'd be kind of cool and make a custom logo for it. Maybe even put it on the hood of some of our trucks, depending on what trucks we get. And speaking of that, I got to figure out a name for this like heavy wrecking company. Now I got to figure out how these work too. 
it, how how well they work. So Freightliner, I want to take you for a little drive, a little test spin, to see how this actually handles. It's really smooth, and the thing about it is it's a clean truck. You got a chrome bumper. It's a really nice clean truck, dude. Like, you can't... Okay, so now let's see. I wonder how this works. So turn on M2 rollback. Wait, is there... Oh, dude, there's rope, too. Okay, I don't know where the rope comes. Actually, the rope probably comes from here. Oh, that's fantastic. So what I can do is I can winch out any vehicle and load it on there. I don't have to, like... Because usually in Farmson, what I'll do is... Is when we didn't have the winch, I would just jump in the car, turn it on, and drive it up. Even though I said it was broke, and I'd just edit that part out. But now, I have a winch. Yes. Okay. I feel like we have to get this truck. So fold. Nice. This is going to work great. You know what, dude? Okay, I'm going to load up my pickup truck to see how this works. Before we buy something, we really got to test it. Okay, I think my truck's a little too big, but this is how it would work. Obviously, wow, I think my truck is way too big for this. I'm curious to see, is this going to even handle it? Uh, okay, here, let's scooch the truck forward just a tad more. Dude, those tires and everything, this truck just looks nice. Especially with the tire and wheel setup. Okay, so what we're going to do is connect the winch here. See if this works. Connected. Nice. Now, truck, I think the winch is on. Act. Truck's not even moving that much. This is neat. Okay, so now here's the challenging part. Is it going to be able to pull this up here? And is it even going to be able to fit on the truck? And how, how much does the truck squat? Dude, I don't know if this is going to fit. We'll see. I, I can keep going some, like barely any. Oh, come on. Get the front tire on. Shoot. Okay, so this is kind of made for smaller vehicles. I wish this was a tad longer. Okay, so oh, I don't even want to fold this up, but I, I'm going to fold this up anyways. I'm just really curious to see what happens. Okay, so as I'm folding... Oh, is it going to scrape? Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Oh, shoot. Dude, that would completely ruin a vehicle. I mean, it's doing it, but that would completely ruin a vehicle. I bet. Here, let me disconnect this and see, because that thing is glitching out like crazy. Okay, so that's how it fits. Obviously, dude, the driver would probably be dead or he'd be, be like ducking trying to steer while driving because the bumper's going through his face right there. But this is how the truck fits. Now, this is a large truck. So this would be mainly more for small vehicles or like small tractors. But it works really good. I think this is something we got to go with. Look at that baby. Just lifting her right up. Okay, is it going to slide through there? Oh, shoot. So this Freightliner is $53,000, and I think it would be perfect. I think this is something we got to go with. I just got to figure out what we're going to do for other trucks. So depending on what we buy for other trucks, we may or may not need this even. Okay, F550. Ooh, interior is pretty clean. It's pretty darn realistic. Besides, this is actually, or I guess what year is this truck? Never mind, I think we're good. Because this is like the interior, this is like from 2005 to 2010, or 2000. 10 type interior i can tell just by the dash but i think that i think the interior is a little different than the exterior of the truck like the years are off a little bit but that's like that usually that usually is how mod is and i i, I i'm sorry about like being picky and stuff like sorry i'm, I'm not trying to complain or, or dash at all on a modder i'm just trying to like point that out i guess okay what the heck dude okay so that extends and then it's got a crane the hitch over here if this is even a hitch, I think this is a hitch. So lift crane up. Okay, so that's okay. So that's a crane. Can I adjust the crane arm? So I hit X. That's what happens. So this has a winch too. Now I'm gonna try this on the exact same truck because I'm curious to see how this works. Some of you guys like are experts, and by dude, I am like the opposite of an expert on this stuff. A lot of this stuff I'm just learning from farm sim. Obviously, like I watched my reality TV shows when I was younger. Uh, what was that? Lizard lick towing and stuff. But I, by, by no means am I like a crazy expert on it or anything. So I'm still trying to figure all this out. Okay, we are connected. Nice. This, man, I, I kind of want all these trucks. So I'm just going to hit, oh gosh. <laughs> F550 versus F250, dude. Okay, so maybe this isn't going to work the best. Here, let me back up to it. Okay, so I'm going to back up to it. I got to figure out... The one thing I want to figure out is what... How does this work? See this bar under here? Do I, okay, so I'm just going to stick this under the truck. And then I don't know if, like... 
it lifts it up or what happens there? That's the one thing I got to figure out is this bar right here that slides in and out. But if you want to tow it back, I don't think it's meant to tow back like this, but you can kind of tow it back like this. So there we go. See what I got here? And then I should be able to drive. Okay, no, it's not going to work out the best, dude. <laughs> okay, no. But I got to figure out that bar. I think I think this could really be used for a lot of different stuff. I just got to figure out how that works. You guys want to see something real cool? Check this out. Oh, I thought it was going to smash a lot more. Anyways, okay. Let's... Uh, Next record. Now, I, dude, we need to get something bigger than the Mac. A lot bigger. And there's a couple of choices we have here. So I feel like I'm talking way too much. And just... I, I can't test out every vehicle. Otherwise, this is going to be a 50 minute video. Especially with the amount of time I take talking. So I apologize about that. Okay, so here we have a Freightliner. I, or International? Or Lodestar. Okay, so it's a Lodestar truck. Now, I can't... I gotta go back and look at our Mac, but this almost looks the exact same. Besides, it's uh, it's just single axle. It's not a dual axle or tandem, I think they call it. So this wouldn't be bad either. There's so many choices. Okay, the one I really want to go with, I want to go with. Dude, with the color scheme and the wrap on this, I feel like I really want to go with this. It's got American flag on the back, Western Star. Now, I gotta figure out exactly how this operates. Oh, wait. Oh, shoot. Wrong truck. Western Star, Twin Star. Okay, so how does this work? I'm going to unfold it. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is going to be nice. Now, I don't think this is... Oh, man. Okay, this is going to be sweet. So, can I adjust those at all? Okay, so here I can operate the arm. Okay, there's a lot of operation on the arm. Check out the lighting. Oh, the lighting is perfect on this. So, I can go, like, pretty much crazy high. And then... Oh, okay, so I don't know what this... Dude, there are so many different things to this. I'm not sure what that does. That it, okay. So this extends all the way up there. And there's a lot I got to figure out with these. So I'm assuming... Okay, for, from the way of looking at it, this is for winching something out. And yes, it has rope to it. Perfect. So this is for... This is for winching something out like that's way out here. Or that just needs to be crazy. It's almost like a crane. It basically is a mini crane arm, I guess. But then I got to figure out this, what this is for. I got to figure out how this works. And I'm assuming it's to like tow back a heavy vehicle. Like you've unfold this arm and then that's how you, you grab the front, lift up the front of the vehicle, lift up the front of the vehicle and then tow it back with that. My voice just completely went out there. I feel like this is something we got to get and I'm going with it. Now, last things. Here's a Western star that's pretty much the exact same. And I think this is, I'm pretty much, this is the exact same truck. As far as I can tell. So I'm definitely going to go with the one with the American flag wrap on it. I got to. Now this is like, I'm assuming th this is almost like your fire truck, but I think it's recovery specialist, heavy wrecker. I think this is just like tons of storage for all your chains, ropes, cables, everything like that. I'm pretty sure that's all this truck is. So technically farm sim, it'd be kind of cool to have, but we don't really need it. Now I think this truck is the exact same too, or is it? It, this might be okay so this might be different okay so that folds down there okay so that's how you adjust this back then figured out how to adjust it so you go down with this and i'm assuming you can yep you can so you can extend that out and then you can grab a vehicle from the front that's what i assumed i just got to figure out how you do the attaching and everything like that okay so after testing vehicles i think what i'm going to do is go with the western star american flag wrap i think every like a lot of people unless you're from a different country Probably didn't want me or probably want me to go with this. So I'm going to go with that. And then we're also going to go with this Freightliner. I think this would be perfect. I don't think I really need the F-550. And I don't think I really need the Lodestar. We can always come back and we can always buy more. But for now, I'm just going to go with these two. I got to get them back there. And then we'll be set. We'll be good. I can't wait to use this in. Okay, now one thing is it doesn't really matter because we don't do first person too much, but the interior is not in the best shape. If you look at this, it's fine though. I'm not, I'm not complaining at all. I, I like third person. Man, this is going to be a sweet truck. Check out all the lighting to it too. Like, especially at night. Oh man. This thing lights up the town. This is a neat truck. Now I could, okay, so what I could have done and maybe what I should do still is I can color 
I can change the front cab. See how the cow, cab's red? And it, oh, it does look a little bad. Or it doesn't look like perfect. It does match the red, white, and blue theme. But I think what would be cooler is if I made that front cab white. I think that would look good on this truck. So I may change that. That's the only thing that I'll change to this truck. She's a beauty. Whew. Look at that. Especially with the American flag in the background. Man, that looks sweet. I wonder how it looks if I were to change it to white. Thing is, is if I change that to white, I don't know if I can change this. Or could I change the Freightliner? I may be able to change the Freightliner. Okay, so that's how it looks white. Dude, I feel like... Oh, you can also get... For you Canadian guys, you can also get uh canada skin on this which is pretty cool the no decal man this usa skin is just awesome so i think what i gotta do is change this to white i don't know i gotta talk to the shop though because i gotta take it back to the shop to change it to white but i think this would look a ton better if we went to white it's gonna cost me some money but we could do that and then we'd have to change the freight liner to white also but this is gonna be the end of the video guys hopefully you enjoyed it if you did hit that like button hey if you have any suggestions on things to improve upon, feel free to throw it down below in the comment section. Thanks for watching, guys, and hey, I'll see you later. Thanks, guys.